Your congratulations on the movie. Very uncomfortable, but in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> really um, and Joshua, um, starting with you, uh, obviously Claire Foy's character, Sawyer, sees your character, David, as a villain, but there's, you know, it's open to interpretation to, to some degree. I um, wondered how conscious you were of, sort of not playing him as a villain. My, my approach to playing David uh, was certainly, as, as, as we've heard, all the actors who have played villains talk about is, is, is to not approach him as, as a villain, but rather um, I had a conversation with Stephen early on about, um, about just the nature of obsession and love. And I, I think, you know, for me, when, when I look back at like teenage crushes and how all encompassing those crushes were and how I just couldn't, you know, it, it affected you on a, chemical basis where where you just kind of weren't yourself and you think about somebody who's who's got a failure to launch who's not quite grown psychologically the way they should and and, and somebody who's really stuck in that childhood version of love and um, and and I think David is convinced not only that um, not only that Sawyer will fix him but also that he has this gift of his love to give to Sawyer, and she just has to be able to see it. So I think that's, um, you know, that's, that, that was my best attempt to not twirl my mustache while <laughs> acting. And, and Jay, your character, Nate, has a very strong bond with um, Clefboy's character, Sawyer. Can you tell us a bit about creating that on-screen relationship with her? I mean, um, well, uh, I think it was just uh, it was it was just playing it like like I really like genuinely want to help her out, you know, and like taking that aspect and like attacking that. And I mean, Claire was so Claire so good to play off of, so it like wasn't hard. I mean, and she she beautiful too, so you know, I mean, I can act like I care about you, you know what I mean? Oh, well, you you need some help, sweetheart? Oh, okay, cool, I got you. Don't don't worry, like sweetie, I got you. I I know what you're going through, and I'm gonna help you out the situation. And you fine as well, you know. <laughs> so it was just for me. It was just it, it was just that. Like, um, I mean, I ain't have to go. I ain't have to go as dark as Mr. Mr. Little did over here. You know, he went pretty dark. But me, it was just it was just playing that genuineness. And like, I mean, you could think about many things. Like, uh, I mean, the relationship with me and my sister. You know, kind of like that. Like that we have. She's my manager. She's been there. Like we got each other's back. It was kind of like I want to play it. Like I have your back so much. So I, I guess I drew on that a little bit. And yeah. I love the look of the film. What was it like from your perspective um, as actors having that small crew and a very small camera as well and the, the iPhone being used? Um, well, I would say it was like, it was, it wasn't like, it, it, the iPhones were there, but you know, you could, like you got free range to just do what you, what you want to do. Like I'm sure you feel, I'm sure you would, you would say that you would say that it feels like you could you could just be natural. No, I, I, I agree. And I think Stephen, um, you know, while, while being a very specific filmmaker, is also mm. so generous to the actors in terms of, uh, of, you know, setting up a shot around what feels natural within the context mm. of the scene. And the great thing about the iPhone in that situation is you can put an iPhone anywhere. Um, and, and, and... And for us as actors, there's very little, um, there's very little interference. There's very little elevation. We're so used to this piece of technology being in mm -hmm. our lives. So I think that reduces the level of self-consciousness that you, that you can sometimes feel around a big film camera. And then like, and then Sutterberg is, is good at just playing off of everybody's um, naturalness, like allowing everybody to just be natural and then um, able to play, but still just keeping it, just keeping it so real that you like, you don't feel like he's filming. And then before you know it, he's got the shot. He's like, got it. And you're like, wait, what? You, <laughs> like you did, you got it? He's like, yeah, I got it. Very nice work. That was nice. I'm, I'm working on my, I'm working on my Sutterberg, man. I'm getting down. I got you. Jay, in the biopic. Huh? <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!